Stat that jumps off the page is 25-8 points off turnovers, 22 on your part. Did they do anything? And, you know, the zone, and, and it was, I mean, they were trapping it, they were aggressive against it, and, and we held the ball a lot. Um, you know, we, we allowed them to trap, and we went sideways a whole bunch, and, um, you know, when we did get it in the paint, we, we didn't face up and, and eye the basket. We held it, and, um, you know, we just, we, we didn't have the pace we needed with everything offensively, and, um, then obviously we're struggling, so people have some some confidence issues, and um, you know that's that's a tough thing to have when you're you're going against zone because you got to make some, some perimeter shots. Coach, was that zone something you'd seen them do before in, in previous games when you scouted them, or is that something they completely? No, they do it every game. You know, we practice it against it for two days, but obviously we weren't practicing the right things, um, and obviously we didn't practice hard enough to, to get ready for how hard they play. I'm sure. Playing in the past couple home games, came in saying hit a couple threes. Yeah, it was good to have. She was a good spark. Um, you know, and certainly she's someone who can make some things happen, and, and it was good to see her do that. So. Doris, that's a pretty punitive loss because that's kind of one that you look like you can you can get. Um, and last five games, you probably won't be favored. Was there kind of a feeling of desperation out there today? Um, yeah, coach hit it. It's we all right now, especially us with desperate teams, and they outplayed us. Um, you know, we didn't play a complete game. We didn't play 40 minutes. We played 20 minutes. And granted, we played a couple good minutes in the second half, but um, they just wanted it more than we did. And they showed the, the scoreboard showed the turnovers they fought showed, and you know, something we have to correct because you know we too are a desperate team, and you know we have to pick up some wins as well. Katie, um, what happened defensively in the second half against you? Um, you had, I think, eight quick, eight quick points early in the game, and you, you finished with 11, so you didn't get as many good looks. Or what did they do in their defense to take you away? I mean, I think I was just tentative with the ball. I didn't try to go at them. I just was looking to pass, look for my teammates, and didn't get that. Katie, how important is it for you to be aggressive on the board and then, uh, aggressive in the focus scoring? I mean, I think my teammates think that I should be going after the boards. I should be getting them there. And when I get some of this, it hurts the whole team because if they come to me, then someone will be open. And when I try to see some of this, it's not, not going to be open for me or my teammates. So. There we go. Jim, obviously, you knew how important the game was. Did you? Were you okay with the effort? No. No. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty demanding of, of that, and uh, it, it, it was at times, but that's been our season. Sure. It is at times, and you can get away with that when you have a number of shot makers. We don't have a number of shot makers, so we've got to make sure we play hard the whole time. And 
you know, and, and to me that if you're playing hard, you're not giving up layups. And we gave up a lot of layups. And you know, and and you know, if you're playing hard, you you, you maybe have some turnovers because they're charges. Um, you know, I, I, we maybe had one of those. Um, our turnovers were sideways and ball overhead, and um, you know, and 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 some of that I think just comes from, you know, we're struggling, we're struggling, and and you know, we're playing with a little fear, we're playing with some uncertainty, and um, you know, the only way to get out of that is is to play really hard, and and the other that comes that we don't practice hard, you know, we don't we don't consistently practice hard, and you know, obviously at the end of the day, that's on me, and. Uh, you know, so when it when it gets to game time, we're not as prepared to, to go at the level we need to. Coach, what's the uh, game plan for the rest of the season? Five games left, and you have two games with Butler and Dayton both near the top of the standings. What's the uh, again game plan for these tough teams? We just got to get better. You know, we, we want to get better every day. We want to win every day, and and to do that, we've got to understand playing hard a whole practice. You know, on, on Friday we had maybe the best practice we had all year. Then we followed it up Saturday with uh, a below average floor practice. Sort of like our game. We had a pretty solid first half and a crappy second half. And and that's, you know, we, we just are we're struggling to understand how important practice is. And, and uh, you know, we're going to do things as a coaching staff to demand more. And it's all how the reactions come. So we just got to get better. We got to keep working, getting better. You know, we're not mailing in. We're certainly not going to think that that we should, you know, just show up and lose. I certainly hope we don't think that. If we do have people thinking that, then we need to get some new people. Coach, you keep talking about um, taking the right shots and making them fall off. It seems that a couple of them that haven't been falling in the past couple of games have fell today. What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, on I thought, I mean, I, I, I just wish we had gotten more shots. Yeah. I mean, that's that's where, you know, 36% for us is, is you know, in fuego. Um, <laughs> So we just didn't get enough shots, you know, because of the turnovers. And, um, so I, I, that's certainly a plus. But that's when you're struggling. That's what happens. You get one thing getting better, like making some shots, and then so something else goes away. Like we didn't win the free throw battle again, not being aggressive. You know, we 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 do you know we have 15 offensive rebounds, but 22 turnovers. So um, you know we've just gotta gotta get to the point where we put it together every day in practice, and then it'll come again. Jim, is some of that practice effort? You, I remember you said often that last year a lot of things like that got taken care of by the players. Mm -hmm. Is that some of the? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it, it, there's there hasn't been great examples of it. I haven't demanded what I needed to to every day, and you know we've had kind of in and out of lineups, and and you know it's just uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of things we can look back and say this is why it is, but at the end of the day it is what it is, and we got to fix it. And, you know, especially this time of year, that's tough to do because you, you should be kind of in the in the habits. And we were in habits, um, but, you know, you asked the effort question, this isn't the same effort you saw against Charlotte. And and so, um, and some of that, again, was the way VCU played. They, they, they you know, the zone kind of holds you into kind of um, But, you know, that's, we're struggling with that right now. And, um, you know, we always have to be a, a, a blue-collar program that, that goes to work every day and does it hard, and we're just not there right now. Doris, how important is it for you to uh, keep composure and make sure you take what the defense gives you and not force shots in the game like this? And it's it's a bar for the team. Um, you know, I am one who can create my own shot, but at the same time, create shots for other people. And, you know, offensively, I don't really shoot, I'm not really shooting the ball as well as I should be. So, you know, um, I just try to, you know, get what I can, like easy layups, get stuff around the basket, and just try to look for my team. But um, even in tough games like this, or basically frustrations with how throughout the season, um, I can't lose my composure. I can't just yell at my teammates and demand certain stuff because at the end of the day, I have to look back on myself as well. And, you know, sometimes I, I'm, I'm not the best player that I should be. So... I just try to encourage them as much as I can, especially with the youth, especially with the freshmen, because they do come to me and they do, you know, ask for advice and stuff like that. So, you know, at this point, it's just really encouragement and trying to demand as much of myself as well as themselves. There you go. Coach, is there any type of game plan, defensive game plan for Robin Park? She's second and eighth in the scoring. Yeah, we, we wanted to force all the ISO plays into the team defense. And 
we didn't do it. We and if we did do it, people weren't where they needed to be. And um, you know, we made it pretty clear the last two days that she's a good player, and, and if we team defend her, good things will happen. And a couple times we did. Um, and other times she made plays. Uh, to her credit, she made plays, but we. We just we let her get some easy things going, whether it was you know not communicating the ball screen coverage so we'd contest, or not being in the gap to, to force the ball away from where, where she wanted to go off the drives. Um, you know stuff we doesn't matter the player stuff we do all the time. It's stuff we work we have worked on since day one. But you know it's it, it gets harder to do when when you're struggling, and, and you know that's where we're at. Time for one more. How, how tough did the last uh, few games going to be? Yeah, I got to. I, I really, our opponents matter very little right now to me. Um, we got to get ourselves right. Um, we got to. We got a week off of practice, which comes at a great time, and we got to have a good one. You know, we got to. We got to get better each day. We got to demand more of, of ourselves, each other, and. Um, you know who we play and what they do. Obviously, we'll work on and prepare for, but uh, we got to be a lot more worried about what we do and, and get better at that.